Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you do not know me, my name is Susie. I hope you're doing well. So today we are gonna be opening a mystery makeup box and this particular mystery makeup box is from my good Instagram friend, Anita. So she is Anita K Artistry. You guys might already know her. She is an amazing makeup artist on Instagram and on TikTok. If you guys do not follow her already, you are missing out. So I will link her socials down below. She's always getting reposted by different makeup brands and I absolutely love love the way she does her makeup. She is notorious for doing these graphic liner looks, which are super duper cute. We both started talking to each other when we had very small followings and watched each other grow. And it's kind of crazy. We kind of like blew up at the same time. We were talking about how I hadn't been doing as many makeup posts. And I was talking about how I don't have much makeup at the moment and I need to buy some. And she was like, why don't I send you a box of makeup? I have heaps of makeup that I don't use. And I was like, girl, you can't do that. You don't need to do that for me. And then she was like, no, what's your address? I'm sending you a box of makeup. And I was like, oh my God, okay. <laughs> so here it is. This is one of the nicest things anybody has ever done for me. Just sending me like a gift like this, just cause. She said that she wanted to see more makeup tutorials from me. So here we go. I'm gonna do my makeup with the makeup that I find inside this box. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is open up this bad boy. Don't try this at home, kiddos. I'm so excited. What lies inside the box? Anita actually just came out with her own makeup brand, Girls of Jupiter. So I will be linking that down below as well. She has hydro liners, which look absolutely amazing. They are bright neon and an eyeliner brush and also eyelashes. By the way, she did not ask me to film this video, but this was so exciting that I just thought we needed to share it together. <gasps> Card. I can't wait to see what looks you create. I hope you enjoy. I'm so sorry this took so long for you to receive. I'm even more sorry for how bad my handwriting is. No, your handwriting is so cute. So proud of you, Anita. Thank you, Anita. Love you. Let's open it up together. Oh my God, uh, there is literally so much stuff in here, guys. Uh, Anita, Anita, <laughs> you did not have to do that. Are you joking me? That is like more makeup than I have in my entire collection. I see stuff from Benefit, I see stuff from Makeup Revolution. Colourpop, I've never gotten a Colourpop product before. nicest thing. She did not ask for anything in return, but I am for sure sending you back a package. Let's just exchange packages all the time and give each other's presents. That'll be fun. Okay. The first thing that I am seeing is a color pop, no filter sticks. Yeah, I guess it's a foundation. Right now for me, it's a tinsy bit dark, but like we can lighten her up with concealer. Oh my God. That's really nice. Okay. Should we go through everything and then start putting it on? I think we should do that. I am dying. Conceal XX Super Fix Concealer. <laughs> that was, what? That is the strangest doe foot applicator I've ever seen. It kind of looks like a little foot, like a little Dr. Zeus foot. This is a little bit too dark to put under my eyes, but this is going to be really good for spot concealing. So I am so excited to try that out. What? I didn't even know Revlon did a Wonder Woman collection. It's like a champagne jelly highlighter. It's a little cream cheek tint. That looks like it's going to be so pretty. And it's in coconut flavor. I love anything coconut. Oh my God, another Ciate thing. <gasps> Metallic glitter eyeshadow. That is super pretty. It's like this rose gold, like rusty kind of color. Mm. Oh my God, my makeup bag just broke. I literally have a makeup bag now. Thank you, Anita. How did she know? It has lips on the front. Mwah. <gasps> I'm literally shaking because that is so exciting. Oh, it has a brush on the end. It's so pretty. 
it's like a little gold moment. Let's look at this color. It is like a fiery red. I don't know how I'm gonna pull that off, but I'm a, I'm a try. Okay, what else is in here? I do not have a lipstick in that color. Oh my God. And I actually needed one of these. When I did the Barbie tutorial, I needed a hot pink lip color. That is super bougie. I love it. That is a gorgeous nude, pinky nude. That is super duper pretty. Oh my God, it's magnetic. Wait, I'm gonna take it off. I just got a little bit on the cap. <gasps> That's like a beautiful brownie kind of nude. It's nice and creamy, pigmented, beautiful. What is that? It smells like a lip smacker that I used to have, I think. It smells so good. But that is really, really pretty, that color. Next is, <gasps> this one has a sparkly top bright pink shiny gloss. I do not own a gloss that bright, so I'm so excited to try that. Ooh, it's one of those like little flat lipsticks. I do not own something like that. I'm excited to put that on. That looks like an everyday kind of color that I could wear. I'm getting so many colors that I've never owned in my life before, so I'm very excited for that. Okay, that was everything in that little baggie. So now we still have this stuff. Ooh, it's a little Korean product. It's like a little cheek gloss again. Oh, that is so pretty. This is a thick boy. This is a thick boy palette. Hello. I do not have any of these colors. I am so excited to try and make something with this palette. I'm going to need some inspiration. I'm going to have a look at Anita's Instagram for some inspo. She also filled the box with snacks. Delicious. <gasps> I thought that was the bottom of the box. There's more underneath that stuff. Oh my God, I'm overwhelmed. I'm so overwhelmed. I'm, I need, I need a sip of coffee. Oh. So next thing in here is the same collection as that concealer from Makeup Revolution before. It's the Foundation, the Foundation. That looks like a perfect color for me actually. I was really worried that it wasn't gonna match me, but that is literally spot on. How did she do that just from looking at me on a screen? Okay, next thing we have an exposure highlighter, multi-dimensional powder. Wow, we're gonna enter another dimension with this one, guys. <gasps> Whoa, that is like super gold, super shiny. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Ooh, a face palette. I do not own a face palette. Oh my God. <laughs> Patricia Bright was like, this is just for looking at. This face palette, you're not allowed to use it. Where's my knife? Never thought I'd be saying that in a YouTube video. Okay, so it has a little pinky blush, a contour and a highlight. I'm excited to try that out. Ooh, this is a ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed. I get it, it's like literally, but literally. Can we talk about that? It's like this iridescent sparkliness that I am so tempted to put onto my body, but that is gonna be so amazing for festivals. I miss going to festivals so, so much. I have heard amazing things about ColourPop eyeshadows, and this is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. Oh, no, I have some ColourPop eyeshadows. They're so pretty. We have something from Benefit and I actually worked at Benefit, but I never had the money when I worked there to actually buy Benefit products. If you guys don't know, in Australia, makeup is about twice the price than in America. Don't know why, it makes no sense to me, but that's just the way it is. Okay, what is this? Oh my God, I love this brow pencil, but I ran out of it and it is in my perfect shade. It is in 4.5 neutral deep. That is literally my shade. How did she know? Oh my God, I got a gimme brow. I loved the gimme brow as well. I have been using my gimme brow samples that I got and I've just been like using the empty bottles because it was so long ago when I worked at Benefit. And the fact that I actually have a gimme brow now because I love it is so exciting. Oh my God, thank you so much, Anita. Two of my favorite products, no biggie. Okay, there is something wrapped in white paper here. She 
gave me a kibonchi. Kibonchi. Gave me a shibonchi. This is 100% the most expensive makeup product I now own. It is called the Photo Perfection Fluid Foundation with Sunscreen Natural Complexion from Givenchy. Givenchy. It's made in Paris, France. Lord almighty. Jesus. Just when I thought it had ended, I was mistaken. What is that? Real nail polish strips from Color Street. So you peel it off and you put it on your fingers. That is different. Okay, and we have something very big and exciting for our final thing. This is Makeup Revolution again. It is that XX collection and it is called the Explosion Shadow Palette. Oh my God. This is a massive makeup palette. So I am so excited to see what is inside. That is the coolest packaging ever. It like, it's giving me Gucci vibes. It is completely gold <gasps> and nothing is broken, which I really was expecting something to be broken. Oh my God, there are so many colors. So it's giving me like neutrals with pops of color, which I do not have a palette like that. I'm just overwhelmed. I'm so excited to see how this swatches. So with that, that is the end of the very generous makeup mystery box from Anita. I had no idea what was gonna be inside here. Again, this was just out of the kindness of her heart. She was like, no, I'm sending you makeup, like end of. And she sent me so many good products, like expensive products, a Givenchy, a Givenchy, like what? Okay, and now, we're gonna try them out on my face. So I'm gonna quickly wash my hands. I'm gonna select some products that we're going to use and we're gonna do a full face of makeup using this box. Let's get into it. Hi guys, it is actually the next morning because my family ended up coming over yesterday. So let's get right back into it. I have all of the makeup down here that I wanna use. So I think we're just gonna do kind of like a simple look, maybe a pop of color on the eyes. I'm not too sure. I just need to put some primer on first. Okay, so just gonna use some of the e.l.f. Paulus Putty Primer, which I already have. I'm just gonna use this palette as a mirror though. That's handy. I do really like this primer though. This is one that I already had. Gorgeous. Okay, now we can get into the foundation. And of course, I'm going to try the Givenchy foundation. I am so excited to try this out. Also terrified, like I really want to make sure that I don't use too much of it and waste any product. It says shake well before use. So let's shake her up. Shake her up. Shake her, shake her, shake her, shake her, shake my arms. Shake my arms, chicken wing moment, chicken wing moment. I'm gonna squeeze it onto the back of my hand. I don't actually know if this is gonna match me, so fingers crossed, guys. Do three pumps, Let's see. This looks like a really good color for me, to be honest. Dotting it all over, I think I'm just gonna use a sponge to blend it in. It smells really, really nice. Wow, it smells like expensive. That's so pretty. It's like, kind of like a dewy finish. I love a dewy finish. It's like a medium coverage, I'd say. Oh my God, Anita. bring you up close. I'm just gonna leave it at this coverage because I think it looks really pretty the way it is. It's like your skin but better. I think it looks gorgeous. Now I think I want to do eyebrows. Let's go in with the benefit precisely my brow. So let's just fill in our brows. Just 
I actually think I used to use shade four, but this is a much more neutral color. Shade four was very warm. And I think this actually matches me better than shade four ever did. I'm gonna use Gimme Brow in 4.5. Oh my God, it feels so weird using a full one of these because I've been using the empty tube for ages <laughs> trying to get every last bit of product that is not there out of it. Okay, gorgeous. I really like how the brows look, but I think I need to shape them out because I did them a little bit bigger than I usually would. So I think to shape them out, maybe I'll try this XX Makeup Revolution Concealer. Just gonna use this little brush and try and kind of like sculpt out my brows a little bit, but not really, just a tinsy bit. And blend that out a tinsy bit with my beauty blender oh i really like that concealer by the way it's not too dry which i find so many concealers are super super dry and that is actually a perfect color for sculpting out my brows yeah that looks really natural let me zoom you in real quick i feel like that concealer just blended into my skin like a dream Okay, I'm loving everything so far. I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer under my eyes. This is one I already have. It's the Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define. This one's a lot drier. I'm not gonna put too much because I wanna keep it kind of natural. A little bit on my eyes as well to prime them. Just like that, make myself look terrifying. Blend that in. There we go, we are nice and bright now. I'm just gonna quickly set with my powder that I already have. Oh my God, that foundation just literally looks like skin. It is beautiful. Okay, now that I am set, I think we'll move on to eyes. Okay, I'm just gonna use the browns from this because I wanna use that ColourPop single shadow for my eyelids. This color right down here, Rustige and just blend that into my crease. Nothing crazy. That is extremely pigmented, what the heck? I think I'm gonna need to grab that other palette because I need something a little bit less exciting to do a transition shade. So let me grab that Makeup Revolution palette and I'm just going to take one of the transition shades up here. I like how these are cool toned neutrals because I don't really own any cool toned neutrals. That blended out really beautiful. Let's do one eye and then I'll do the other eye off camera. On the lid, I want to go a little bit cray cray and I really want to use this ColourPop Mint For You Super Shock Shadow Metallic. And I'm going to pat this onto my lid. Okay, are we ready? Oh my God. The hype was real about ColourPop shadows. That's gorgeous. Oh my God. I think I want to take this brown a little bit further out. And I feel like I need to put a dark color in the outer corner. So I'm going to grab this color here. Do you see that? Okay, now I'm going to do the other right off camera. What I just ended up doing is I actually liked it warmer, so I added more of this color. I really wanna do just like a full look with this because this single color that I've used is so pigmented and when I swatched it, it was really, really nice. Makeup Revolution was a little bit less pigmented, but I still feel like you could build up the colors if you wanted. I'm just gonna do a tinsy little bit under my eye. Just like that. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm not in an eyeliner mood today, so I'm just gonna do a tinsy line just to blend my lashes in. Gorge. Okay, now I'm gonna put some lashes on off camera. 
here I am with the lashes. I'm not gonna lie, I stopped and had breakfast. So this makeup has been on for like 30 minutes now and the foundation is still looking beautiful. But now we're gonna do powder. So I'm gonna use this Patricia Bright Makeup Revolution face palette. This looks like quite a dark brown. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm gonna try and use that as like a contour slash bronzer shade. I'm gonna like maybe wipe it on my arm a little bit so it's not gonna be as dark. Oh, I can definitely see that. I think I went a little bit dark. Okay, I'm just gonna go around the forehead and hopefully we can blend that out in a second. That is extremely pigmented. Like I wiped basically all of it off and I still have so much color on this brush. And it actually surprisingly does not look like I smeared chocolate on my face, which I was scared it may look like. I do want to try do a little bit of contour on my nose. I think it's a little bit red for my nose contour, but it actually doesn't look too bad. Okay, I'm so excited. Let's try this dewy blush from Ciate London. That is so pretty. It looks like I'm wet and I love that look. Now I wanna use this Revlon with Wonder Woman. I'm assuming you only need like the tinsiest bit. Does it look pretty? I can't really tell. Oh, I have a very sticky face now. Maybe it's a little bit too sticky. <laughs> I put two sticky things on top of each other. No, that still looks really pretty. Gonna use this one in the cute packaging. Nimbus highlighter from Makeup Revolution, the XX collection. On a tinsy little brush and put it on my nose. And a little bit on my upper lip. A little bit on the brow bone maybe. Gorgeous, okay, and now we're on to lips. I really wanna try this Sigma Infinity Point lipstick in Epiphany. That is my new favorite lipstick. I'm not even kidding, guys. Oh my God, look at that glow. I'm obsessed with the glossy cheek trend. Guys, that is so should I just try the Sailor Moon gloss? I think I'll try it on top just to see what it looks like. So let's just put a tinsy bit of that on. Pretty. It's kind of like a clear gloss, maybe added a little bit of a golden tinge. Okay, I'm gonna spray myself because I want this to last forever with the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. good. Anita, I couldn't have done this without you. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I am so happy with how this makeup turned out. It is everything I love. A pop of color. It is glossy. It is glowy. I am obsessed with these makeup products that I got. Like, this look is beautiful. I think it's one of my favorite makeup looks I've done and it is with almost all new products. Like this glow is just insane. Okay, here's what you're gonna do. The second you close this video, you are gonna first like and then go and follow Anita K Artistry on TikTok and Instagram. She's the kindest, most hardworking, talented girl I know and she deserves all the love so please leave a little comment and let her know that I sent you. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun playing with makeup and unboxing some new stuff. Please leave a like and also if you haven't already, subscribe and join our family of all shapes and sizes. You are welcome here. If you guys are liking the makeup content, comment down below and let me know what makeup video you would like to see from me next. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram at Susie J Todd. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will See you in the next one. Mwah.